Hi guys, it's Matty Ace, and yes, admit it, it was satisfying to see me blow up that pesky overpowered hovercraft that is yet to be nerfed. Or by the time that you're watching this video, it might actually already be nerfed, who knows. Now what did get nerfed on the other hand was those C5 I used to kill said hovercraft with and why that nerf happened I guess it was an impulsive decision made by DICE based on the fact that a lot of bad tankers wanted to be able to sit and camp on hilltops with their tanks on a map where oh, all the hilltops are full of uh, vegetation, bushes, trees and also ditches and rocks which makes it possible to sneak up on the tank unnoticed and blow it up. Now, unfortunately, all the other maps favors tankers a lot more, and there are also sections of Orbital where it is really, really hard to actually do sneak up on tankers with C5. But C5 was still heavily nerfed anyway. However, this video is not about C4, or at least not that much. This video is about this baby, which is yet even another overpowered infantry farming tool that uh, probably wasn't all that well thought out from DICE, uh, just like the hovercrafts. Now the thing about the M5C Bolt is that you have to be a level 50 to spawn it, and that means that most people haven't as of yet tried it out, or been at the receiving end of it, therefore there hasn't yet been enough toxic threads about this one for DICE to notice it, as far as I know that is. Now the weapon that you see on top of this bolt right now is the 30mm cannon, something like that. That is not the default. The default one is the machine gun, which is also default on the hovercraft and the jeep. However, once you get this weapon on top of it, if a teammate is able to get into it, he will most likely stay in there either until you die or to the end of the round. Now, let's be fair, it is a relatively new vehicle for most players and right, it I've does have a massively okay. overpowered okay. weapon at, that you can farm with. You can easily kill people hiding behind the cover with the splash damage. You will deal quite good damage to all other fire light fire vehicles fire. and you will even deal a lot of damage to tanks. However, when it comes to dealing with tanks, it is actually the driver that has the most efficient tool for it, even though it's very, very risky. And as you can see in the lower right side corner, I have mines. And uh, you're gonna see a couple of moments when I make use of that. And remember, this is the first day for me to be able to spawn this vehicle. I just reached level 50 at this point in time, and I haven't had many attempts to do this. Now, whenever you release the mines, you drop the mines with a vehicle, you release four at the same time. And even if you drive really fast, they do not get spread out. So if you want them all connected, uh, you know, at a certain choke point or whatever, you don't have to worry about slowing down or anything. You can just drive and press that button, in my case, G, whenever you feel like you're in the right position. Of course, it is a lot more satisfying to do this. GET FUCKING wrecked. Now, as far as I know, if you drop a new set of mines before the previous ones have exploded, then I assume that the previous ones will despawn. Now, honestly, I'm not sure about that, but based on some of the other mine features in this game, like when you're dropping mines as an infantry player, if you die, then those mines will despawn, something that might also be the case if you switch to another loadout using Angel's loadout crate. Get fucking wrecked! So now, when it comes to dropping the mines, there are, well, basically two different ways of looking at it from a strategical point. Here you saw one of them, the driver that passed through that little uh, opening there, he dropped his mines in that very section, very uh, strategical. Maybe not the best placement because he dropped them a little bit too late, so any tank coming that way will see it. Here I'm doing kind of the same thing, but you see how I drop the mines first here, where it's likely that a tank will uh, focus on something else and not look that much at the mines and hopefully just drive over them. Now at this point in time there's nothing that prevents me from uh, using the mines again should I get close to a tank and see the opportunity. Of course the mines that I just dropped they will despawn but hopefully I'll be able to get back there again and drop them once more. 
Now, obviously, what I'm hoping for is that a tank is going to drive over those mines, explode, and hopefully give me a triple, maybe a quad kill. I don't even know if you can be four people in the tank, but yeah, the more the merrier, right? Now, next up here, what I want to do is I want to give my gunner some angles so you can shoot into this opening here, the C flag or C1. But I want to stay away from the wall, at least uh, not this close. I want to stay away far enough so that I can easily drive away if I would start taking damage. People can, of course, shoot me from up above there. At the same time, I want to make my presence known here because I want to bait a tank out so that it hopefully goes for me not noticing my mines. Oh, my mind's again! <laughs> so now, like I said before, once a teammate gets into your bolt, it's very, very likely that he will stay there, something that doesn't only apply to this crazy 30mm cannon. Now, people seem to generally also enjoy driving this bolt, regardless of who spawned it, and uh, that can be a little bit of a, a nervous moment for, well, at least for me, who for the most part have had some really bad experiences whenever a random player is driving or flying any vehicle in any game. Now, aside from tanks being the obvious counter to uh, the bolt, aside, well, aside from infantry with whatever yeah, explosives they have, uh, you also have helis, of course, but energy. you also have the AA, and that is something we're going to encounter in a few moments here. Now, the thing is that the bolt will not outpower the AA, but the bolt is fast enough to get close enough to it so that I could, as a gunner, jump out and use my C5 instead of trying to damage it with my 30mm cannon. The problem is, of course, that I have absolutely no communication with the guy driving. That means that even a successful moment taking out an AA truck with or AA vehicle with this bolt might actually be rather frustrating. So yeah, stick around, check that out. I hope you will enjoy the rest of the video. Funny, the, the I want to say big thanks for watching. This, Don't forget to subscribe, like hit that puppies. notification no, bell, like and uh, remember I do stream this on this very channel basically every day or night, depending on my sleeping schedule. And uh, yeah, <laughs> hope I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Oh no, we're hacked! Go, go, go! Hey, don't go away now! Fuck's sake! Fucking wreck! Is it my bolt? I got somebody else's bolt now. Oops. That was my... That was my mines. I dropped my mines on him. I mean, I don't know if it made any difference, but... I guess the word bolt action has a different meaning now in... in gaming. This is fucking nuts. Oh, 
Oh, ho, ho, ho. that was a good try. Get fucking wrecked. Oh! Now tempted to do this. I'm just gonna gamble. It worked! It worked! 